My name is Piers Locke. I'm a uh, senior lecturer in anthropology at the University of Canterbury. I'm a Carson Fellow and in Canterbury I'm also the co-director of the New Zealand South Asia Centre. Here at the Carson Centre I'm working on two projects. The first of these is a monograph based on my original doctoral research and my ongoing field research in Nepal. It's called Serving Ganesh. Uh, it's about the humans and the elephants in Nepal. So I explore the history and the contemporary relationship between humans and elephants. And I'm particularly interested in this intimate relationship. So it's a story of my apprenticeship, it's a story of the ritual practice of elephant training, but it's also an argument for doing research in a new way. A way in which we recognise that animals can be just as important as humans and that they are integral to understanding human social practices and human social life. I originally conceived of my research merely in anthropological terms. So I'm an expert on human social relations and what humans do. I'm not an animal expert. So I thought, I'm going to go and study how humans keep an animal. But during the course of my research, I discovered that the elephants were so significant, so intelligent, conscious, and engaging and interactive, that I needed to think of them as informants. They were also research participants. I was talking with them, learning from them. As a result of interacting with the elephants, I realized that I needed to reconceive my research. Now, traditionally, uh, ethnography is based in the humanist tradition. It's one of those subjects that you study if you're an expert on humans, not on animals. But I realized that the elephants were also subjects as well. This has led me into the whole new world of multi-species ethnography. The second project I'm working on here at the Rachel Carson Centre is an edited volume. This is um, the outcome of a symposium I held in New Zealand two years ago in which I invited all sorts of scholars from all over the world. There were Sanskritists, political scientists, ecologists, historians, geographers, conservation biologists. We all met for two days and we all explored issues to do with human-elephant relations in South and Southeast Asia. Another development from my research um, is this idea of the field of ethno-elephantology. It's about trying to create an integrated perspective to exploring all aspects of human-elephant relations. So it's based on three principles. One, we need to rec recognize the subjective agency of elephants as conscious, sentient social beings. Two, we need to consider how they are involved with the social, the historical, and the ecological aspects of human lives. And three, we need to consider how we can integrate perspectives from the humanities, the social sciences, and the natural sciences to understand human-elephant relations.